This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. It mainly gives a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen. Everyone knows that Morgan Stanley got fined like $249 million for insider trading. Okay? But what the SEC did was they hid the people that benefited from the insider trading. And lo and behold, guess who's on that list? Citadel Securities. Okay? But but here's the part that that that, that kind of pisses me off. Citadel Securities and other brokers who receive the insider information, none of them will be prosecuted. None of them will pay a fine. Let me ask you guys a question. If somebody's selling drugs and you or I buy drugs from them and we are caught with the drugs, are we not guilty of a crime? Are we not prosecuted? But somehow the recipients of the insider information, not one of them, is being brought to task. Not one of them will be prosecuted. Not one of them will be fined. Not one of them would be asked why were they involved in the conspiracy. If somebody steals property of another and then gives it to myself or you or anybody else, even though we didn't actually steal the property, we are now in possession of stolen property, which is a crime, and we would be prosecuted. Yet, these bad actors who conspired because they accepted the information and the SEC tried to hide their involvement, they are not prosecuted. For the minimum, in this type of crime, there would be accessories after the fact. Because the minute Morgan Stanley took that information and gave it to them, whether they use it or not, they are accessories after the fact. They are part of the conspiracy. Yet somehow the SEC and the DOJ don't want to prosecute, don't want to find them, don't want to make them pay for being involved in an insider trading scheme. Yo, this is absolutely crazy. The regular rules that society, society abides by does not function in the United States stock market. If you are big enough, you can break the law. You can violate all the rules and regulations and you have no real consequences. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that if you or I what are recipients of that insider information? Would we be prosecuted? I think so. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.